All right. Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome to a special uh, rebirth edition of Hate Watch. We have been, we've been banned. We've been banned. <laughs> they've uh, they've banned my boy. <laughs> we didn't even do anything. Didn't by the do way. anything. Kanye did something, and you know, they, they, you know, you can't. These black guys, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or new ones already banned. I'm so scared. I've, I'm like now Not scared to, to say. say anything. We have to figure this out. We're going to, uh, this will be on a new channel. Um, and then I guess we can, uh, through that, we'll be able to find out if uh, my current channel has had been being stifled, which many people have led me to believe. Um, but well, yeah, this is actually kind of good because now I'm not, it doesn't matter if it gets banned because it's brand new. We can just make another one. Mm. Well, there's the, nothing to lose. The thing I was told is that my current channel is, because we're banned for, I can't post for three months. I can't post till March. So fuck. Um, and so I was told that if I make another channel with Hate Watch under it, and I post it under the same uh, internet and from the same computer, it could expedite a actual ban of my actual channel. So do we have to change the the name of the podcast? It's gonna be no. It's gonna be Hate Watch, and it's gonna be a separate YouTube channel. We're just gonna upload it from a different place. Yeah. Okay. Um, Fuck. And we'll see how long that goes. I think everyone kind of gets the thing here that like we're a pretty punk rock show. It's not. <laughs> it's, it's probably not going to uh, grow into uh, you know like the Burt cast. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> so. Well, I want it. We want to keep doing it, but at a certain point, it might be the smartest thing to just. We will have to pay for the Vimeo on the Patreon, which then takes more Patreon money away. But that's okay because then we could do what we want, uh, according to you know whatever Vimeo's standards are. Well, how much does it cost? It's like a higher percentage cut that Patreon takes for using it. Oh, for real? So I thought it was like we've just been making so little that I haven't felt like it's. It would be. I just thought it was stupid to do for now. But doesn't seem like this show is going to be allowed to be on YouTube that much longer. I, uh, th this was a weird freak accident. This was a weird thing. Kanye did some stuff, and we just talked about him. And I think it was because it was in. It was. Uh, it was. Here you was know. the bit. I'll just say what the bit was because I don't want people to be like, "Oh, what did they say?" Maybe it was actually bad. The bit was, it was so fucking innocent, uh, and actually, we were making fun of Kanye. Yeah. So we would go, like, oh, let's see. People are saying Kanye said some bad stuff. Let's, it can't be as bad as they're making it sound. Let's play a clip. And we'd play a clip, and then he'd go, like, oh, I love Hitler. It would be like, ah, maybe that was out of context. Let's, <laughs> let's listen to another clip. And then he goes, like, I love Nazis. Yeah. Hitler's a genius. Yeah. <laughs> And so we kept goofing, like, oh, we kept being like, well, no, we, like we're, we were giving him the benefit of the doubt. Yeah, we were trying to explain a, being absurd. Yeah, it was dumb. It was a, uh, it was a, it, it, we didn't do anything wrong. It, we've done a million episodes that were way crazier, and you know, uh, whatever. We started a podcast that essentially turned into a show that involves a lot of targeted harassment <laughs> and, and, and bullying and crazy things, and and it's fun. And you, I, everyone that listens to the show knows where we come from. Uh, we have good hearts. We're not like you know killing people or doing anything like that. It's we it's, swat a senior citizen every once every in a while. Every <laughs> once in a while, I give an old lady a one two to the face. <laughs> <laughs> it, but it's called Hate Watch, baby. I'm punk rock. <laughs> Dude, we're a punk rock podcast. We're a punk rock podcast. No, I, I just, I don't know what to do here. It's becoming difficult. I, you know how many fucking copyright claims I get? And every, and I have a lot of videos on my YouTube channel that I'd like to s keep up there. Um, and I don't want my channel nuked, regardless of how uh, stifled it's been forever. But want to keep doing hate watch but just i want people to prepare that like maybe six seven eight months down the line if the new channel you know come on we're making a new channel i'm expecting like it's gonna have a few hundred people yeah. watch it. well that's what's gonna be tough to find out is when the new one isn't stifled and it still has no listeners <laughs> right Right. And then we're going to have no excuse. So then at that yeah. point, it's like we move to Patreon and you can go ahead and be like, you greedy fucks. How dare you all? Split? How dare five people split fourteen hundred dollars a month? <laughs> we might have to do that for your sake. So then we could just get away with anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll be on Patreon, baby. Well, we got our pirate ship. We're it's going to on... cost me a lot of puss. But then through Lemon Party, maybe people will be like, join the Hate Watch Patreon. It's such a crazy show. They can't even be public. 
Okay. Right? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's enticing. And then you get that, then you get that fucking band pussy. R oh, yeah, like uh, edgy rebel pussy. Wait till you start getting like fucking, like, now like, under, talking. like, yeah, like fucking, uh, <laughs> uh, you start getting like underground railroad pussy. <laughs> Because that's who would have loved Hate Watch is uh, slaves escaping through the Underground <laughs> Railroad. They're, yeah, uh, they, they they sneak in uh, Hate Watch episodes yeah. every once in a while. <laughs> yeah, like like the, 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 the uh, whatever they're the, the slaves running to another slave to pass them like the password, and they go Hate Watch. <laughs> <laughs> they're sharing a Patreon account. They're just giving each other the password. They go, Do you have the RSS? <laughs> You can down the downloadable files. De Devin isn't really good at tech stuff, so he doesn't realize you it's really easy to share the episode on Discord. They go, it's a punk rock podcast. Yeah, it's a really punk rock podcast. They got in trouble for some Kanye stuff. Anyway, my life is hell. I'm a slave. I hate being a slave, but I love this podcast. I hate being a slave, but that podcast is so fucking funny. <laughs> Very stupid, but we're just trying to give you a little update. I, I, uh, I saw a lot of people messaging me, like, you know, like, uh, encouragement and thanks. You know, I, unfortunately for me, I've been through this enough times. Uh, I have no hope in uh, me ever making it in any independent way on the Internet. Uh, the only thing, I, <laughs> of course, you know, I needed I needed uh, the great Ben Avery to, to help me get anywhere, get any audience. Uh, I've been trying to do this for 10 years, and... Um, not a single thing has worked, folks. <laughs> not a single thing has worked or gotten me. It's hard to watch. It's been hard to watch. It's been hard to watch. Be not a single independent <laughs> thing I've done. He tried so hard. I know. Got I, the thank effort. Thank God for Ben. Let's go through it. Let's go through it. I went on uh, TikTok. Started making waves on TikTok. I was killing the talk. We were big on talk. Banned. Permanent ban in like three months. <laughs> Okay? That was the one app I thought maybe something was happening on. What'd they ban you for? Which video? Do you remember? Because I said uh, women in Washington, D.C. look like Jim yeah. Gaffigan. <laughs> Real crazy stuff. No, I know I'm nuts. <laughs> uh, Instagram had a fucking big uh, Andrew Tate video. It had like fucking hundreds of thousands of views in like 45 minutes. I was finally getting followers. I was like, oh my God, maybe I can, maybe I'm going to be, have some Instagram followers now. Maybe people will watch my work. <laughs> Banned <laughs> immediately. I think it was going to do millions of views. It was going to do millions of views. Uh, well, whatever, which it's like, you know, you're um, basically, you're just tricking stupid people into watching you for later on. So you can maybe try and feed them a better thing in the future. Whatever. The internet's weird. Then we do this little show. We're not hurting anybody. We get 2,000, 3,000 views an episode. Uh, about the same downloads. It's fine. We got a little little cult following. A lot of people. Pretty very punk rock. Very, uh, very, uh, a lot of enthusiasm for the lack of, of population. Popularity. The people, uh, uh, the, pop, the population of listeners. Oh, right. Um, Richie. <laughs> Talk okay, me. listen. All right. please, I'm following please you. Please don't correct me, Richie. Richie, don't make me get Kanye in here. I'm the, about to put on the Kanye of hat. The, 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 the population of the people, <laughs> mind you. <laughs> you. You sounded like the rent is too damn high. <laughs> um, but no, so, uh, you know. I love each and every person that listens to the show. I think it's amazing that we've even carved out anything because I'm a. I feel uh, cursed, so I can't even believe that we have a uh, fucking three hundred forty people on Patreon. Oh, you're, cur you're cursed. Wait. That's a fact. I'm completely cursed. I've been cursed. Yeah. Okay, like everything in my life is a nightmare. Uh, At least you don't have monkeypox. <laughs> Should we? Let's do it. Yeah. Let's get into it. Enough of this. You'll, we'll, we'll be around and, we'll, you know, we're going to keep doing the podcast. As, uh, you, you know, you guys help, too. How about that? How about you fucking share it? <laughs> anyway. Um, John's not here and there's John a John isn't why. here, folks. John isn't here and I wonder why. Um, the man that is constantly uh, throwing gay jabs my way, <laughs> saying I drink cum, saying I fuck men at truck stops. Guess what he came down with today? 
monkey pox. <laughs> John has monkey pox, folks. It's so fucking gross, man. It's disgusting. He sent us pictures of his hands. It's the grossest fucking hand I've ever seen in my life. His hand looks like it's it's boiling from the inside. It looks <sighs> it's it's a uh, it's a bunch of fucking it's the monkey pox stuff. It looks like somebody at a piss orgy had like an infected load of cum. He's he wasn't he wasn't using the <laughs> shot it all over his hand. Well, that's why when I go to the piss orgy, he's like, you got to bring a Brita. <laughs> you got to filter the piss. It was so funny because uh, John told us he called me this morning and he goes, he's like, dude, I have fucking monkey pox. <laughs> This is so fucked up. It's like I'm in so much pain. My monkey box is like. <laughs> <laughs> he, did. he literally called me. He's like, dude, I'm pretty sure I have fucking monkey box. <laughs> he called me too, and I was laughing so hard. But he's like, dude, it's not funny. I've gotten in so much fucking pain, dude. <laughs> like, but the way he was saying monkey box was killing me. And this There's is a- interesting. I mean, it's just you want to wonder, like, how do you get monkey box? Uh, how do you get monkeypox symptoms? Reddit monkeypox you symptoms. You put it on the screen. I, I will. I will. Hold on. Yeah, but uh, so there was definitely um, like John was in a in a hysteria. Yes, he was in a real panic. He's losing his mind. It's been a really hard month for him, and it got capped off With the by po- uh. Him getting monkeypox. And I don't know how you get monkeypox. Let's just look at this study. It's I mean, this doesn't mean anything. Only 40,000 upvotes. Uh, and it's, it's an NBC News. Monkeypox is being oh driven God, overwhelmingly by sex between men. Who knows what? how you get it? I don't know how John got this. What the hell? John's the John's as straight as an arrow. We all know that. <laughs> but uh, where's he found? We found out he has a disease where, it, you know, it's, he has a disease that's driven overwhelmingly by gay sex. <laughs> <laughs> what we're saying is our dear friend John has been hiding he has down low gay sex with people and we're going to have to have a talk with him and we're now outing him to the world but I mean you've all heard how he talks uh, the, you know the guy throws the word gum around like it's nothing mm-hmm. and this well is, wait a minute maybe payback. this is a, a fake art how many upvotes does it have 30,000 oh Jesus 30,000 NBC News Monkey well maybe Pox. it's like a small study and it really wasn't hold on hold on look at this key info right here Monkey Pox is now being called the John Knopf disease <laughs> <laughs> interesting wow so you heard it here folks um he literally has it mm-hmm. he's very sick uh his face is turning into a dick as we speak <laughs> What if that's what happened? Your face just turned into a huge cog. Anyway. Um, but he's very sad. It's a rough time for him. And uh, It's actually not even funny. He's actually... In- no, it's not funny. He's in a lot of pain, but I kind of want to tell people about it because we, we, we've been purposely not telling anybody all day because we wanted to announce it on the show. Um, so let, let me like, uh, give my mom a call. Let's call my mom. You're, I love your mom so much, and she, she's known John forever. Mm-hmm. She like considers John another son. She loves John, so she won't be surprised by hearing he's gay. She's gonna, devastated if she found out that he was having downloads. You know what's sex. funny? Don't even lead her into it. She'll. I bet if you just say John has monkeypox, she'll be like, "Oh, he's gay." I get it because yeah. of the gay sex. Oh, finally, let's do it. My mom's probably having fucking gay sex right now. <laughs> Come on, mom. I gotta tell you about my friend. We found out he's secretly gay. Oh, come on. You're killing me, Mom. Well, she hung up on me because she already knows. She can sense. She doesn't. <laughs> let's call, call. Let's How about you? We call your mom. Okay, sure. Let me see your phone. Let's call your mom. Let's, let's call everybody's mom, and we have to alert them who we're hanging out with. We're hanging out with a deviant. My mom has never met John. We have no problem with gay people, but you got to be open and honest with us. We yeah. we can't be hanging out with you and you fucking you you know you 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 you're banging people under freeway underpasses. No and you're cruises. Getting these deadly diseases, and you, you're hanging out with us. You're cruising. And it's you're not, cruising, and it's not cool. No cruising allowed on the Hate Watch. <laughs> not on this team. Joey, you're going to talk, right? Yeah, yeah. You guys can try it if you want. Our moms hate us. <laughs> Yeah, this really goes to show the uh, level of love between us and our parents. Boy, 
She answers my calls. I'm calling from Devin's phone. Uh, That's so why. It's because it's a random number? Probably. All right, forget it. Let's call Mark. This is what a failed bit this is. <laughs> what a dud of a bit. How about we call Mark? Yeah, let's Mark. Mark's just going to be like, oh, really, dude? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Great. John's gay. All right. <laughs> All right, hold on. So, yeah, I'll be over in an hour. Call Mark now. <laughs> call Mark. I Maybe our moms will call back. Maybe they'll call back and we can tell them about our friend that has secret gay sex. <laughs> <laughs> like, secret dirty gay sex. Mark Joey's mom's calling. Gotta go by. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. I mean, I this is like I'm banned with my friends and family as well. <laughs> no respect. My you mom see, just texted me. She's so scared to answer. <laughs> you see the respect. Uh, no. Your call. My mom texted me too. <laughs> well, why are our parents so fucking? <laughs> they think they're being like watched, like they live a life that anyone would give a fuck to, like be like, oh, random people are coming <laughs> after me. I need to be careful out there. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna call my mom back. I'm 68 years Wait, old. Wait, my mom might be. Hang on, my mom. Hold on, I got my mom. Okay, 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 okay. My mom comes before your mom. Fuck. Hey, honey. How dare you? Hey, ma. How you doing? I'm good, honey. How are you? <laughs> you're, you're on. A, we're calling you from the podcast right now. We wanted to give. We oh wanted, my god. We wanted to have a make. Give. We wanted to give you the news first before you heard it from anybody else because it's pretty. It's grisly news. Um, what? John. Uh, uh, John has monkeypox. What? <laughs> <laughs> well, of course he. She goes, of course he does. <laughs> He's always been first. He's always what? He's always been first. Just yeah. ahead of the crowd. <laughs> he is, he is. He's he... always out of the curve. Yeah. Well, <laughs> especially when it comes to having gay random sex. Especially when it comes to being a, a gay sexual deviant. <laughs> that's oh my God. Hiding it from I our group. <laughs> Mom, have you seen this study? Monkeypox is being driven overwhelmingly by sex between men. We didn't make this no, up. No, honey, I have not seen that study. You never heard of that? <laughs> I live through AIDS. Why would I care about monkey fucking pox? Well, because this is this is AIDS 2.0, and John has it. Oh, mm -hmm. AIDS. Does he? Does he really? Yeah, he does. He has monkeypox. Yeah. Seriously, like, how do they diagnose that? Do they? Ugh, does it, is it like pox? Is it like a like a you get pimples and How do they diagnose it? They stick a dick in your ass, and if you if you don't go ow, you they fucking you walk oh out with God. a diagnosis. I hope you don't plan on airing this. You guys are obviously on morphine or something. No, this is our new episode on the channel that won't be banned. <laughs> yeah, after being banned, this is what you're gonna open with. What's wrong with this? We're not saying it's bad to be gay. We're saying it's bad to lie to your close friends and possibly give them deadly. Gay diseases. Yeah, we're just dead naming our John, friend. Well, ha, has John been trying to stick his penis inside of any of you? Is that what you're? No, about? but you can give it to people no, just but, by hanging out with. Yeah, them. he he hung out oh, with us last oh, night. Oh, so you're saying you're saying John knowingly had monkeypox? Yeah, and exposed all of you. Yeah, because he wants to spread it. Because he doesn't, he want. Because it's like it's this whole like I'm free now. Thing. It's a fetish. It's a, it's a fetish. Yeah, yeah. Disease he's a spreader. Co disease codependence. Oh, I'm ready to leave this crazy world. I'm telling you. What? Are you serious? Is this he, thing? he showed up last night and he was like, I might have COVID. And we were like, Don't come if you have COVID. So he still came. He still showed up to this bar that Joey and I were at. And then he shows us his hand, and his hand looks like bubble wrap. Like 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 it's. Oh my god! And and yeah, so we didn't touch him or anything, and then he kept trying to like suck us off. Did you just and, like poke him with sticks or something? It's like no, you just didn't let him get get close. To we us. just didn't yeah, let him get leper. close to us. We didn't let him get close to us, but uh, it's crazy. And I know he's also he's like maybe about to get evicted, and and oh, no. and uh, yeah, he's about to lose his job as well. I mean, this is what happens what? when you lie about being gay. <laughs> <laughs> You guys are horrible. Secrets keep you sick. <laughs> the secrets will hurt the immune system more than anything. You guys better not put this out into the world. No, we're such. I hope he's in on this. We, we he is in on it. He's he, in on it. He doesn't know we're doing this right now, but he, he's in it. He hasn't it announced it to anybody but us, and now we're announcing it to uh, whoever listens. Okay. But so he's willing. He's willing to go down for all of you. I don't know care. about that. I don't know about that. No, he, he he might be upset about this. 
He might be. I, Are you considering him? Oh, that. John doesn't listen. Is he patient zero? Is he like a patient zero on, on monkeypox or something? He is in this group. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Mm. But anyway, I, we just, we're just we trying to do a bit where we call everybody and let them know before he does. Oh, well, I really appreciate just it. Just in make case. Sure I steer clear of him. He's always said he always thought Joe was kind of hot. <laughs> He's always really had a thing for your boyfriend, so. Hey, be careful with all of this, okay? Why? What's wrong? Uh, you know, just the world. I mean, I'm afraid to, like, stick my head up out of the ground at all. I know. Say anything even vaguely normal, because I'm afraid. Like, well, we're, like all, what? we're all very open, and, and we're, like, basically like, John, if you're gay, we love you no matter what. But it's just weird that he's not oh. telling us. Yeah, you're like the Liberace. Yeah, we don't care watch. that he's gay. We just don't like liars. Yeah. <laughs> how long has he had it? How long has he had it? How long do you know he's had it? Well, he's been gay his whole life. You're born that way. Oh. And I don't know how long he's had monkeypox. <laughs> Oh we don't know God. how long he's had monkeypox, but he's definitely he's been gay forever. <laughs> Excuse me, I love John, and there's nothing wrong with being gay. No, we know. No, no we, we know. know. There's nothing wrong with. I don't. We don't. Your friends on the other hand. You just wanted to come out. Uh, you just wanted to come out and be. In, in yeah, just, we just don't we like love him, and we want him to be honest. Yeah. Sorry, I don't like deadly liars. Yeah, he's like the front desk why lady in lose, White Lotus. Why why is he on the verge of losing his job and getting kicked Cause out? He kept, is that real? Yeah, because he kept sucking off customers. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> he, they, they, you know what? Actually, what happened, Bev? They busted him. Uh, he drilled a glory hole <laughs> in the bathroom <laughs> stall. <laughs> they he caught him with the big power oh, drill. That's yeah. why he's getting He fired. served a customer a drink, but he cut a hole in the bottom of the glass <laughs> and he stuck his cock through it, Mom. That's no crime in LA. It was like diner. It was like that scene in Diner. <laughs> <laughs> You're all insane, you know that? Yeah. You've been the best Is guest that, we've ever had, by the way. I miss Bev so much, I'm realizing. Really, dude, Bev fits right really, into the dynamic, dude. <laughs> I think my mom is going to take over for John. <laughs> Oh, okay. That's actually sure. a great idea. I'll be, I'll be remotely. I'll, I'll scoop by my lake with my geese. Oh, that's right. How are the geese? Like, How are the geese doing? You know, the geese are kind of high today because it's kind of cold. Oh, really? It's not snowing yet, but it's like around the mountains, it's dusted with snow. Yeah, they hide. You know, they're. it's very interesting. The only ones that are braving the cold is the coots. Mm. Okay, that's oh, this I isn't interesting like, for I this isn't this isn't that. good for broadcasting. Talk about your <laughs> thoughts on Balenciaga and like child porn and stuff like that. <laughs> what do you think about Pizzagate? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're, we maybe should let you go. I love you, Bob. Love you, Bob. Oh, you make me laugh. I love you guys. Love I love you, you Bob. Love you to death. See you All later. Right. Bye. Bye. Okay, bye. Love you. Well, you know we have to get in front of it. Yeah. Yeah, can't let him be around. You know, people that are at risk, immunocompromised older people like my mom, and you know, we have this gay liar on our hands. <laughs> anyway, you think we beat the horse enough uh, here? Yeah, I think you so. don't. You don't want to call your mom? No, I think that. I mean, that was because your mom knows would have. John. No. She would just be like, "Okay, you have a gay friend that has monkeypox." <laughs> <laughs> your mom would be like, "Kill him!" Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Anyway, we hope he gets better. Also, John doesn't have monkeypox. We're lying. He has, um, what is it called? <laughs> like hand, AIDS. hand, foot, and mouth disease. He has or hand, foot, and mouth disease, yeah. which kind of sounds worse because yeah, disease I, is in the title. Mm -hmm. It's uh, a, a disease that toddlers get. And, and like they they say it's right. like oh. they say it's like chicken pox. Yeah, it's a disease that toddlers get, and you only get it if you fuck kids, like yeah, John. It's the monkey pox, but from kids. So it's worse. We're finding out. It's supposed to be one of those things that you can't really get when you're an adult, like chicken pox. And somehow John got it. He somehow got it. Yeah. That's what happens, you know, you can't keep fucking, you can't keep watching Chinese industrial accidents with four-year-olds. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? It really was funny, though, because... Give John some some uh, like love on Instagram, too, by the way. When it it really yeah, he's was... Sick and he's not yeah, John is in a lot of pain. He's but in it, a lot of but pain. It was he's so, suffering. He's suffering. It's actually a fuck. It looks brutal. It looks really bad. But it is funny that he called... Uh, me this morning and goes, I have monkeypox. He's like, I have fucking monkeypox. He, he, he didn't know that he had monkeypox. He didn't know yet. He hadn't gotten the diagnosis. He didn't know what it was. Yet. He just assumed it was monkeypox. That's what makes me think he's. this is just a big gay cry for help. Well, I texted you and I'm like, dude, what's with this monkeypox thing? <laughs> it's and a then, gay cry for and help. We were, 
<laughs> and you and I were both just going like, well, that has to be from gay sex. That's- and for like two hours, he then told us that he had, it was hand, foot, and mouth. But for two hours, we, we were convinced. From 10 a.m. to noon, I was walking around <laughs> literally wondering how I'm going to get my friend to feel comfortable telling me he ha- he's, he's been secretly having like gay relations. I was one I, I was going to ask him, like, why would you think we wouldn't be okay with you? Why don't you just tell us? Why don't you just tell us? And we don't. And I'd be like, dude, you make all the gay jokes. Yeah, you're the gay joke guy. Mm-hmm. No, I was 100 percent convinced that he was having gay sex. We busted him, dude. I'm not kidding. I, no, I thought <laughs> for sure. Yeah, yeah. It was busted. the greatest thing I have ever heard because he's always, you know, saying that I suck off lot lizards and stuff. Yeah, he, and then, <laughs> he uh, says that you are a lot. He lizard. says I am a lot lizard, and he acts all manly. And then I'm like, dude, you literally got like the new AIDS. Yeah, it's still suspicious that he's like, it must be monkeypox. Why do you go to that? Because then why do you why do you assume? I don't know why. What have you been doing? I don't know why. Because he wishes it was monkeypox. It would have been a big relief. It's all out. Weight off his chest. Big oh, his chest. I see what you're saying. Now he's got fucking uh, mad cow or whatever the fuck they gave him, <laughs> and he does. He has to hide. He has to hide again. Well, it's probably hard to keep making like jokes that you're a bear, but you don't actually get to be the bear that you really are. You yeah. know what I mean? And John, he's a bear. He's a true bear. He's a true bear with monkeypox. And he ate he ate some the other bear's honey. honey. The wrong honey. <laughs> <laughs> he ate yeah. the wrong honey. <laughs> the porridge was too hot. Man. <laughs> Should we call him and check in on him? Yeah. Yeah. Good idea. All right. Hopefully he picks up. Hopefully he's not sucking somebody yeah, off. Hit up that big homo. <laughs> Brother. Johnny, you're on the podcast. We, uh, how you doing? Oh fuck! Oh hey. man, dude, you you're sound doing it early. Johnny, you sound bad. You sound really bad, John. How's oh, it? How is? Has oh, it progressed? Fuck. What happens? Is a dick coming out oh. of your bicep now? <laughs> so basically, yeah. So basically, uh, I'm I'm like a giant blister. Oh no! Jesus. So your face is like is 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 blistering too. My face is uh, everything. Everything's turning into a blister. Oh my god! This is this is horrible. I look like a monster. Is your what's I look like a monster? Is your dick and everything okay? My dick's fine. That's the oh, best part. Oh Christ! Jesus okay. Christ! That's yeah, already so you're good. okay. Good. <laughs> it, it, so you're I'm fine, fine so dude. Yeah, so then yeah. relax. get out there and fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I look like a water balloon with a cock. You look like what? So, a water balloon with a cock. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you're so like you're I'm, getting filled I, uh, with water weight and shit. I've been injected full of pain medication because it's the most immense pain I've ever felt in my life. That's why uh, you sound so weird. You're holy like, all, shit, really, John? You're all loopy on on painkillers. Yeah, I'm fucking loopy. I'm on painkillers. Well, did you uh, take? I'm living in hell. Why does it hurt so much? Did you take poppers? It hurts so much because <laughs> my. <plan. laughs> no, I forgot to take my prep. Oh <laughs> my! My, my skin, They're telling me. They're supposed to listen to this. Listen to this. The lady goes, "Hey, listen." The skin on your hand may peel off, and you may lose your fingernail. Oh, wait, lo- fully lose it? Yeah, dude. Jesus Christ! Because of what do you have again? You have head, mouth, and and I and have, ass uh, disease. <laughs> I'm getting, getting head and getting my ass fucked it's out. Cock, ass, you. and mouth. <laughs> dude, you have- <laughs> you got ass to mouth disease. <laughs> That's a symptom of cock, ass, and mouth disease? disease. (laughs) Okay, so John, Uh, what, um, how, what, what, what is the protocol here? What do you do? You just take ibuprofen? Or I have what? To, you quit going to glory holes. Yeah, you just yeah. Quit, you basically you have to like start wearing condoms. You gotta stop yeah. going. You gotta stop going raw <laughs> ass to mouth, dude. I gotta start. I got, well, first of all, just start denying loads. What? <laughs> I thought I gotta start denying loads. I can't go to any more <laughs> right. loads tonight. You can't say yes to every load. No, not. Oh, I know it's. <laughs> I know it's. It, you can't treat these guys like it's Baskin Robbins. It's not, it's not thirty-one flavors. You know me. You've seen me at fucking. You've seen me at fucking. Uh, you hey, know the ice cream place. I gotta try everything. They call uh, you the suck machine mm-hmm. there. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a fuck machine. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm I'm gay as hell. I'm laid up in bed. I uh, yeah, I got it. I'm hungry and I'm in pain. We'll it's see. horrible. Does, is it in the inside of your mouth? Like, is it hurt to chew and shit? Or no? Uh, they said there's, like, shit on my throat, but I don't really feel it. 
you know. And they don't have antibiotics for this shit? No gag reflux. Dude, there's no... There's, <laughs> the, the lady was like, just take Tylenol until it goes... Back. Take <laughs> Tylenol? Jesus. That's it? They don't give you uh, oxygen or like, nothing? What did they inject dude, you with? Like, I asked them. I was like, no, we don't do that here. And I was like, I literally walked out of the place and said, well, the streets are going to... So then I... What'd you say? Uh, you're cutting out. He's getting I choked. Said, you're cutting out. John, tell the uh, You can't be d- being dommed while this is happening. <laughs> Turn off the sissy hypno for one second. <laughs> Johnny, I told the nurse I was going to legally... Pre- you're breaking up, Johnny. You're breaking up, John. What's going on? All right. You there? He's not feeling John. good. Let's let him off the hook. John. Oh. Can you hear us? Can you hear me? I can hear you yeah, now. Yeah, I can hear you. You're breaking up really You're bad. You're breaking up a lot. You're breaking up bad. Well, you're in a basement. I'm on a It's I'm probably because you have like 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 small Thai boys like cl- cl- like crawling on your on your fucking uh, your phone wire. They're muffling yeah. the connection. <laughs> Walking across it like a tightrope to get to your, your room so they don't disrupt your, your roommates because you've been having down low gay sex. <laughs> the wireless uh, butt plug vibrator is interfering with the Wi-Fi. On your phone. It's, well, you can't. You can't. You got to turn it off, Joe. It's on the Bluetooth. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I, I, I'm controlling the device. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm. Uh, I'm right. gonna rest up. Get I'll some rest. Get some know. rest. Come over later. We'd like to see what it's like. Yeah. Really? No, kid. This is how we. This <laughs> <laughs> narcissist, John is. Yeah, I know. Really? John, he goes, really? You guys are okay with that? to hang out. You want to hang so bad. <laughs> Imagine being that sick and be like, I. But I do want to hang out, though. No, no yeah, yeah, I want to hang out, dude. <laughs> go to Akbar, where you're welcomed. That's a, that's a gay bar. In there isn't like. a single disease on earth that would stop John from being like, like trying to like coax you into hanging with him. No, he was. Yeah, you could have the black plague and he'd be like, hey, like, what are you guys going to do? Like a fucking like good. Come on, dude. Let's go to Coles. He'd be like, come on, you, I got the black plague, dude. He's like, come on, <laughs> dude. Black people are fucking sick, dude. You want to be black? Let's go get a French dip, dude. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> I need a fucking hot toddy, dude. My throat's killing me, man. I got the he tried. Right. You tried to beat monkeypox last night with an affogato. <laughs> yeah, it was crazy. I uh, I need more. Uh, I'm, I'm literally like I'm literally like a delusional headspace. I feel like I'm on Opie and Anthony or something. Well, you're like our Bob Kelly right now, except he, except he's had open gay experience. <laughs> ah, he yeah. admits his gay experience. He admits uh, to a few of them. John, would you like to explain why you immediately assumed that uh, that your disease was monkey? That's pop? really the main uh, question uh, here. Why'd you immediately uh, go to that? Because my sister texted me and was like, yo, those hand blisters look like monkey pox. And then I looked up monkey box hand blisters and it looked exactly like what I had. And I was like, oh, I mean, I haven't been like, I haven't had sex or anything any since. Like, it's been like a month. With who? Well, you haven't had sex with who? With anyone in like a month. Men? Men, yeah. including? No, my <laughs> fucking ex girlfriend. And I was like, I was like, you know, uh, maybe I got it from like fucking shaking someone's hand or some shit. Because I right. met Joe yeah. Right. That's how everyone gets it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Shaking dicks with your I mouth. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you do. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I don't know. So I was like, fuck it. Is that what they're calling it now? Shaking hands? Mm. Yeah. It's a, it's, a, it's a gay code. Well, you're you'll have cruising. a big. You're gonna you're have cruising. <laughs> you've been cruising, it. John. You're gonna have a big redemption arc here, though. You're gonna be back. Yeah, we're gonna. Gonna, gonna my redemption arc. My redemption arc is gonna be when my body's arcing over the fucking bridge, going. Into the <laughs> Dude, what if Tony Scott when had I monkey pox? <laughs> yeah, he, did he, Tony Scott kill himself because he had to the first monkey pox? <laughs> Honestly, if I if I had a time machine, I'd go back in time, pull Tony Scott off that bridge, and just jump in his place. But, uh, oh, yeah. John, oh, come on. Johnny boy, I'm, I'm, you're just a little gay. You got, you got a couple of three ass polyps. Come on. <laughs> oh, my God. It's horrible. I know. It's really like, bad timing. I, you, let your, it, it, you, you did this to yourself, though, your immune system. You kept fucking yourself. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. yeah, I was drinking. You got to listen to your body. Now, don't blame the drinking. The drinking probably killed the germs. Drinking never hurt. Anyone. Drinking never Wait, hurt anybody. You okay, so you name me one person that's ever been hurt by drinking. Ever. You're stressed out. Edgar Allan Poe. He wrote a great thing. Yeah, yeah, big head. Whatever, Johnny. Let's face the facts. You've been being irresponsible. You got yourself monkeypox, sucking off a bunch of truckers. Yeah. And, and now you're paying the price. <laughs> you're I pay- mean. <laughs> 
It's a natural. <laughs> is, this is this is how nature works. <laughs> yeah, you know, I uh, yeah, I, I got to stop hitting the stops. <laughs> stop stops. <laughs> I've been, I've been, I've been hitting the glass dick and then hitting the stop. It's, it's too much. Yeah. Well, get uh, get some soup in you. You know, maybe yeah, some. Uh, to get to bring me food. Yeah, get some egg, get some egg drop soup in you. I'll yeah. postmate yeah. you some. You only have postmate you some soup. That's the cummy. That's the cummiest soup. That's that why I said it. That's why I said it, retard. <laughs> <laughs> seven, 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 seven has egg drop soup when he's on his cum withdrawals. Look at like that. He's still gay bashing you. Yeah. Yeah. The ego yeah. of him to think it's okay to still gay bash me. <laughs> <laughs> Your mouth is Devin. growing testicles. <laughs> well, I have to get another cone transfusion. <laughs> I forgot about that. That was a cum. pretty good joke. <laughs> cum, cum transfusions. Are, I haven't heard that before. <laughs> That was a good one. You, you're actually, you're, yeah, you're, you're kind of like you're, you're, you're kind of like a pioneer. No, no. You're a pioneer. Honestly, this is honestly. how good John is. Yeah, this is how good he is. He said he's he has monkeypox, the gayest disease on earth. He's in pain. Yeah. He's in pain, and he's still gay bashing you from the grave. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. You need a. You need a. You need a. Yeah. Honestly, we should go with the. I know this is live on the pod. There's so no hiding, but we need to go with the narrative that I had monkeypox. No, we said earlier. We already though. announced yeah. that you have like, like, uh, fucking mouth and foot or whatever the fuck it's called. Oh, uh, I'm gonna post on the Reddit tonight that I have monkey pox. Yeah, okay. sure. We know you're fucking. Yeah. We know you're looking for new people. Yeah, I'm looking for new pods. Why don't you uh, post on Craigslist like, too? <laughs> <laughs> post on. Yeah, Grom. I'm looking for other pods, monkey yeah. pox. Yeah. Why don't you get on there? Uh. All, yeah, right. Do it. All right, Johnny. Get All some right. rest. Get I love you. One. Get some sleep, buddy. I okay? love you. I love you, sweet Johnny. Hope you feel better soon. Hope you feel buddy. better, man. All right. Bye. All right. That was sad. God. Wow. What? He sounded horrible. What a. Uh, he sounded terrible. Yeah. He's he's obviously lying. He still won't admit the gay sex stuff. I know. He just covers it up with common gay jokes. He really sounded bad, though. He sounded so. I've never heard him sound that miserable. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, I mean, I've heard him sound miserable before. Yeah, I've never not heard that bad. He doesn't get this sick. Yeah, I've never heard him sound sick. And he's like loopy from the painkillers. I think. Well, too. also the social sh- the shame, mm-hmm. and everything that comes with it. <laughs> the being caught lying for years. It's really he's decades even. He's sick with shame. <laughs> <laughs> You know that'll that'll do that'll do a number in your immune system. Mm-hmm. Public shame. <laughs> it's so embarrassing to get caught like that. I know because it's it's so it's it's twenty twenty two. It's okay. To, what, I don't what, think what, exactly. what are you so exactly. afraid of? Exactly. What are you exactly. so afraid of? I think it's a beautiful. Who's homophobic like, anymore? Like what kind of freak two men is loving each other is so like open. These, uh, yeah. Let me get one of these things you got here. Thank you. Thank you for the fire stone. Do, All right. Do you have one of those gums? This is uh, ridiculous. Oh, you want a Zen? Because you're like chewing, you you're chewing. I know. I like, wanted another one. People, people get real no, upset about that. I know, Joey. These are. Thank you. All right. Back to the podcast, Evan. Back Try to, to be the professional. <laughs> Try to be professional for once in your life. <laughs> This is so ridiculous. This is why we're banned from everywhere. Is the, this kind this of is attitude? Why we're banned. <laughs> I feel the curse coming in. Like, Do you think people on YouTube happening. are like, you know, like three or four times an episode, this guy asks for a beer? <laughs> 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 There's like a guy in a YouTube headquarters. He's like, he's not even very professional. <laughs> He doesn't take broadcasting seriously. He's not taking his podcast seriously. Ban. Look how loose he is. I'm going to ban him for three months. Maybe that'll whip him into shape. <laughs> Maybe there's like a guy that's a huge fan of Hate Watch, but he's like, they're not they're not serious enough. Get back to the yeah, old he's like, days. He's like, <laughs> he's like, I want great. I want classics. I want hate it or love it. He goes, what happened to Geppetto? He's like, this <laughs> stupid motherfucker needs a wake up call. <laughs> he goes, remember the Tugget guy, huh? That was a funny character. Nothing like that. <laughs> he goes, they haven't had a character like the Tugget guy in a while. He's like Tyler he goes, Durden. He shows up at, at, at your house and he goes, if you don't have a good new character in the next week, I'm going to blow your fucking brains He goes, you guys had something last week with Gregory, <laughs> but you dropped the ball. Didn't do long enough on it. <laughs> He goes, yeah, I'm the guy in your comments. 
<laughs> Tyler Durden is uh, a YouTube moderator. <laughs> Tyler Durden. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, how about this for parasocial relationship? Bam. <laughs> uh, so f- I control the narrative. It's so sweet how my mom is so worried for me. What's she worried about? She should have let loose. What did I even say that was that crazy to her? I feel like a, what we have well, we said she, anything that crazy? Mom. She knows you got banned, right? Gay jokes. Yeah, she's just nervous for me. She knows you got banned. Yeah. She, so she listens she, to like every episode. Yeah. She knows you got banned and she's probably like, okay, well, she knows how long you've been working on that YouTube channel. Yeah. A long time. You've put a lot of work into that. And it's gone it's nowhere. Yeah. No, I've only been <laughs> d- doing it for a decade. It has a... Uh, it uh, Lemon Party surpassed it in subscribers within uh, 27 days. <laughs> <laughs> Probably sooner than that. Right? Oh, way sooner. Probably within like three days. Yeah, yeah but I, I bet she's just like, okay, be careful. Like, because she didn't know that we, we openly support John for how gay he is. She thought we were making fun of him. For being gay, we we we. we, we don't oh no, 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 she no, didn't no. get that. That was coming from a like we we were upset at you for. Be, for feeling shame about yeah yeah mm-hmm. exactly like it's, that's like really annoying like like that's homophobic to be ashamed we're yeah. mad at him for mad at you for you afraid of mm-hmm. being gay mm-hmm. homophobic exactly yeah. exactly it was a uh, what's the word what's the word when it's a uh, it's in yourself uh, inter- internalized self loathing sure. yeah 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 I've always said that <laughs> John's gayness <laughs> um yeah that's true. Joey has always said that. <laughs> I've really been out of the loop with the news. Um, what has anything happened? <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> has anything happened? What time is she bad? Has anything happened? What's going on with the news? No, here's the thing. I went on World Star right before we came on. Just like it's like always like a last minute backup. We're not really gonna watch anything on it, but it's just it's still it's it always shocks me how hilarious the descriptions are of videos. Mm-hmm. Okay, so this is this goes chick gets beat and hacked with a machete by a man during a fight outside of a nightclub, and then it goes sheesh. <laughs> <laughs> she, it's, it's, they go, this they go, machete, uh, they go, they go, innocent people uh, hacked to death by a machete in line for a nightclub. Yikes. Yeah, it's like if it was that scene in the Patriot where he's like hacking the guy with the axe, then in the background, like they're just like, she, it's just a guy going, <laughs> sheesh, <laughs> this ma- machete hacking, wowzers, <laughs> wowzers. You just see, you just see a, a Patriot dab in the background. <laughs> So we got uh we got Brittany Griner back uh, for a uh, great one more fucking ago. Do you care? About, I don't care at all about this story, like uh, whatsoever. I but, thought um, it was kind of. I I really love Victor a, Bout. What did he do? He seems like yeah, who's a. Victor, what's his deal? I mean, I know who he he's is, the so. coolest fucking guy that's ever lived. He seemed like Lord of War. He seems like the he's, Nicolas Cage. So guy. yeah, Nicolas Cage plays him in Lord of War. Is that true? Yeah. He, oh, he oh, is I just the made Lord that up. He actually plays. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, that character Nicolas Cage Whoa. is based on Victor. Look Bout. at the big brain on Brad. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, but so we got busted selling missiles to terrorists that were going to use them to kill U.S. troops. Oh, and then so they're like, all right, lock him up. Uh, you know, obviously he's you know selling missiles. He was called the Merchant of Death. The Merchant of Death. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a great name. And then uh, they traded him for. Uh, Griner, mm-hmm. which just seems like a bad trade. Yeah, yeah, to terrible me, trade. She's the the, <laughs> yeah, the, yeah. the merchant of empty seats. <laughs> <laughs> the merchant of twelve points a night. Yeah, <laughs> Brittany Griner, they traded the merchant of death for the uh, <laughs> the merchant of no viewership. <laughs> she also apparently like beat her wife. Yeah, and she's uh, uh yeah. She's like a wife beater. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She's convicted. It's, I'm not making this up. No, I've heard that too. Yeah. I've, I've seen that. And she has like, uh, there's like video of her like like playing basketball with like her shirt off. And she's like, just, with her tits out, you mean? Like, yeah, but it just looks like a guy. It just looks like a skinny She's guy. flat. It looks like fucking Latrell Sprewell. <laughs> <laughs> looks like a... But taller. Looks, it's just, you know. And more manly. It's, we, it's uh, untalented Allen Iverson. Yeah. <laughs> not untalented. Very good for a woman. For a very yeah, yeah, six yeah. six ten <laughs> giant woman. Yeah. Whatever. I don't care. But uh I did hear that she beat her wife. She beat her wife and then we're like, okay, yeah, yeah. we'll trade you for 
Victor Pound, a man who's probably responsible for millions of deaths. Yeah, yeah, but he had a movie made out of. We'll him. trade Victor Pound. The, we'll trade the Merchant of Death for the Merchant of Layups. <laughs> 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 the Merchant of Seven Inch uh, Verticals. <laughs> 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 it is like uh, hilarious. Also, is I, I I don't know how true this is, but have you seen Richie? Have you seen any of this? Like right winger people on Twitter being upset, like about at Biden mm-hmm. that like uh, we left like a marine in yeah. Russia or something. Mm-hmm. So he like he did this as instead of he left a marine. Is that tr- is there any truth to that? Yeah, and then uh, the well, the, the left is getting all uh, like debating that by being like oh you were all happy when trump like left this person I, oh, of know, course yeah person. just a wonder what about is him yeah i remember trump like saving little yachty or something from asap rocky there you go from sweden he so saved asap and then i uh, i'm pretty sure he's the only isn't he the reason that like uh north korea and south korea like literally ended like a 80 year blood feud they're yep. still pretty fucked up in North. Oh, Korea. they are, but they shook hands for like the first time. My Korean uh, You're responsible mechanic for a handshake. The, his kids were going off about it. They were like, "That's insane." They were like, it we, was "Our crazy. whole lives, we never thought we'd see that." And this guy got that done. And we don't like Trump, but he is what he is. Maybe it was big. I don't know. It was a big deal to these Korean, the Koreans guess, working I, on my car. I don't. Yeah, I guess. Uh, yeah. Well, if you don't agree with that, you hate two Korean kids. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, like well, a new, a new. How about that? You're racist against two Korean kids <laughs> you never met. A new, a new choreographed dance is a big deal to them too. So it's like you know, oh no, a new Gangnam style. They go nuts. You know, it's it's easy to excite these folk. <laughs> <laughs> these folk. Okay, so so we got Brittany back, Griner. What are we gonna do with her? Are we gonna use her to like uh, save like kittens and trees and shit? Or are we, gonna, are we just use her to climb on top of and you know the as problem is it's below ten feet. What do we get out of this? I mean, she got herself into this position, did she not? By being a by being a stoner, yeah, by being a, a, a user, a pot freak, an abuser. <laughs> she's an she's a drug addict. She's a drug abuser. Yeah, I mean, it's it, here's the thing: is she's gonna go back to the WBA, and then no one's gonna watch still right right and then it's just gonna be like okay i guess uh, victor, let's forget about this really fast victor bout should join should start playing he should like become trans and play in the wmba like a juana man yeah but victor bout and victor victor bout juana man and he like kicks the shit out of these broads <laughs> That he would dominates. Cool. He dominates. He yeah. joins like a Russian team, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and then it's Russia versus America at the finals. It's just it's a, it's a very uh, the headline is a very you look at it and you go that's it's just another it's another simulation headline. Yeah, America trades trades we, yeah like i didn't even know we did that we just i didn't know we traded evil yeah. people is there a trade deadline with russia i had and, no and idea America? like hey we'll trade it's like trade like a kid trade like his lunchable at, like at lunch yeah <laughs> I, for i don't get it i didn't even know this was a possibility good for us we got her back <laughs> but look who we um, had to give up but uh, we gave up a guy called the Merchant of Death. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I haven't looked into it. It just sounds hilarious and absurd. It sounds like we're returning much more talent to them than we're getting back. One would think. They go, we'll, we'll give you uh, Rosie O'Donnell. You give us the Grim Reaper. <laughs> 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 it really is America in a nutshell. We're like, if listen, you better if you give us Chubby Checker back. <laughs> we, we will give you back your top scientist. <laughs> we'll give you a nuclear scientist. We will give you back Dr. Fu Manchu. <laughs> listen. The president, he's like, listen, we need to get Maury Povich back. <laughs> we will give you Dr. Manhattan in exchange. <laughs> We're willing to give you Thanos. <laughs> it was a bad trade is what we're trying to say. <laughs> but it's also like who even it just seems like fodder kind of. It doesn't even seem mm-hmm. like a real thing. It's, it doesn't even seem like Russia had any real plans on keeping that bitch. 
I just no, they were definitely just like let's try to get Victor back. Russia was just using it for tabloid shit. Russia was just like, hey, we're in the papers. Let's fuck with America. Russia was just yeah. like, we're in National Enquirer. Let's troll them. Yeah. Let's. Yeah. They go. Hey, what's the craziest thing we could ask for? They go. Hey, ask for Victor Bout. They go. Ask for Victor. <laughs> They go. They, they, one like, no, like, they're, they're not going to do that. They go. Shit, we, we, we could win. We could take world domination. Will be ours. They go, but Victor, well, I got busted selling uh, missiles. And the Russians, like, <laughs> and and Putin goes, what do Americans like most? What do they cherish most? And he goes, women's basketball. <laughs> 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 they're still out of touch. They, 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 they're, they, they have they haven't had TV for so long since we sanctioned them that they like forgot what we were and they go American. They love WNBA. <laughs> they go. He thinks he has Michael Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> no, they thought she was Michael Jordan the whole time. Putin, Putin thinks that we think that Brittany Griner is Allen Iverson. <laughs> He goes, AI <coughs> in our prison. Yeah. This is big. And we think that Putin thinks that Victor Bout is Borat. <laughs> no one has any clue what's happening, but it's somehow it's the most uneven trade in it's a big mystery world Magoo. history. Yeah. We I, I had no idea there was like there was these like that uh, the, uh, they were doing like Moneyball <laughs> for like the world. Like I didn't know that countries were you like <laughs> I didn't know Moneyball applied to like world trades. Yeah, they're they're in the cabinet and they're like, "Why do we want Brittany Griner back?" And he, he like points and they're like, "She gets on base." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, exactly. Like it's like it's like Putin like has like a Jonah Hill character like in the Kremlin. Behind him. <laughs> he's just all nervous and fat <laughs> sitting behind him. And he's like, "It's been shown to me that Victor Bout Victor Bout gets on base more than any other merchant of death." <laughs> He's called the Merchant of Death that we traded him. What is that? You can't have a name called the Merchant of Death you or really, we give you up. You That's can. not okay with me. We had no one else to trade. No one else. You can't trade him a uh, uh, fucking uh, Yakov Smirnoff. <laughs> <laughs> give him Yakov. <laughs> I hope he's in prison. He should be for his comedy for, for, throughout the, for what he did to us throughout the 80s. <laughs> when we weren't alive. We're on to you, you, Yakov. <laughs> Finally, you get hate watch. You're not safe around me. <laughs> Pull up a no, Pull up a picture. <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't trash Yakov Smirnoff. Um, we just got banned. I don't want to get us banned again. What if YouTube has a big like no Yakov Smirnoff trash? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just it just it seemed like an uneven trade to me. Mm -hmm. Bad trade. <sighs> Uh, maybe hope, maybe we got some picks. What did the Merchant of Death do, Joy? What'd you hear about him? Do you didn't see the movie? I'll tell you. Lord ya. of War. I mean, listen, that's a Nick. Cage. I guarantee nothing in that movie is close. It's a plane to the movie. Truth. It's a good plane. Movie. It was extremely it's fictionalized. A good, it's a ridiculous but, movie, but it, yeah. so he was an arms dealer. He would acquire weapons, high grade military weaponry, missiles, assault rifles, AK forty sevens, tons of ammo. And he would sell them to our enemies and to anyone who wanted fighting in a war. Sometimes our allies. Sometimes our allies, sure. Not and such a bad guy. So this guy <laughs> actively um, actively uh, added to the deaths of America. Sure, he would sell weapons to like terrorists and stuff like that. And America is saying, well, Brittany Griner plays a sport that is so boring it has probably killed Americans too. <laughs> Maybe that was the And map. if we evenly we it's an even trade. Mm -hmm. Sure. They go, listen, the WNBA is as bad as gun salesmen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think that's kind of how it went. It's down. absurd. It literally feels like people in the White House were like, I mean, the WNBA like does a lot of damage to people's minds. <laughs> and Victor Bout's done a lot of damage too, seems even to me. <laughs> It is. It's, it it feels anti-feminist to do this, and I know people are gonna. They think we got a woman back, and blah blah blah. But this actually goes to show that we think female basketball players they are as bad for the country as the Merchant of Death. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, being a war dog is actually a more is a yeah more prideful undertaking than yeah playing in w <laughs> trade the movie war dogs <laughs> for Vic for uh for britney 
<laughs> anyway, maybe we've we've beat this to a to, yeah. a to a pulp. But fascinating. Yeah. Another another fascinating headline where you just go like, what? One one quick last thing. It makes no sense because oh, who, uh, of course. who 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 doesn't already support Biden is like they're already happy about it. Like anyone who's happy about Bernie Griner coming back is voting for Biden anyway. Right. So why why even bother caring? Because it's you're just playing to the same people who already like. Well, you. it's definitely you're not a winning mo- anyone over. It's a move that they make knowing that right. they're. It's a, it's <laughs> it, they make this move. The White House makes this move knowing that like. Every single Republican yeah, it's, it's gonna will, is going to be like, oh, "Fuck you!" Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's ridiculous. Mm-hmm. It's it's just one of those. They're playing to the like in this house. It's almost more about making Republicans look bad when they freak out. Yeah, exactly. More than making Democrats. They're happy. playing. This is a move where they're they're playing totally to the in this house we uh, science is science. And, oh yeah, and, yeah. And that's all. Shit. Everyone's accepted. It's it's fully about that. It's yeah. fully about that. Are you getting? No, I'm just looking at my hand. I'm, hope, yeah, I'm just hoping. I keep that. doing that too, dude. I just, I I just want to make sure there's thing. no horse foot and mouth disease or mad cow. No, they're blisters because I'm a working man, unlike John. Yeah. This is from podcasting. Yeah. Okay. And po- hold it. <laughs> I got hold, podcasting I got sword. podcast hand. Okay. You hold the mic. <laughs> it's, it's a, you, you look a lot like a fucking the coal miner's daughter. <laughs> it's not as easy as it looks, guys. It's really not that easy, okay? It's tough work. <laughs> What's up with that tow truck guy? You pull up the tow truck guy. Oh, the tow truck guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was thinking we save him for the next episode. Oh, do we? Okay. Uh, how long have we done oh, on this? Oh, yeah. How long have we done it? Oh, 56 minutes. Let's do a little tow truck. Well, well, why don't well, we do the uh, the guy who failed his script? Or that's failed that's his what movie. I want to do. Okay. And then why don't we'll, you explain this, Richie? So this guy, he has a channel where he talks about just like film in general. Um, it could, you know, it's all over the place. By the way, I sensed that you were like, Devin's running a bad show. <laughs> <laughs> I can feel it. I was thinking it. Good were, radar. That's why, but it, only for like two minutes. Oh yeah, yeah. You were two. like, it was like two minutes too long. I you were a, like, and then you go, why don't you pull up this <laughs> other guy you vaguely mentioned earlier? <laughs> someone's putting their producer cap on over hey, here. Oh, Joey look at is, this guy. Someone's growing up. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody should care about this podcast. <laughs> hey, it's been a rough week. You know, for, yeah. Anyway, We're so this guy. Still here. Uh, this video is specifically funny because he's explaining how his indie movie failed. And Which is a very funny thing because we all know in this world that uh, everybody that follows anybody on Facebook. No, we don't, no one's on Facebook uh, unless you're you're dying. <laughs> um uh, but Twitter, it's it's this you know it's, it's it, we live in the era of people asking for money mm-hmm. to uh, do a hobby. Mm-hmm. Like you have no clue if they're even talented, and they're like they're they're telling you like please like, give me thirty grand so I could make a thing no one sees, and it'll make me feel good for two days. This is our big moment. Everyone That's, get together. Everyone ask your family, tell your friends, exactly. share the link. This never used to happen. You used to have to go like swindle a fucking you know like a a, a, a businessman to like invest mm-hmm. money in your movie. You used to have to like make a pitch and everything. Now you all to, you got to buy film. Exactly. You need to be Bernie Madoff, and now <laughs> yeah, we have this. Now you just get to post on GoFundMe, and like all your fucking hipster friends are like, yeah, Sebastian's great. <laughs> He's gonna make the uh, the next best horror movie. <laughs> but so. It- this is a guy that he did a video called pull, the, pull. the Five Reasons My No Budget Feature Failed. Yeah. Pull, and, up, pull uh, up the next Christopher Nolan right here. When you see, th- I mean, I, I haven't watched this. Richie uh, told me about this, but uh, it's just, this is a funny, it's funny that this even exists. They said he's explaining how, it's funny his, that now, how he failed. Now they're trying to monetize th- uh, a video about their failure yeah. after they monetized uh, 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 their whole project. They were like, "Hey, give me money for my project," and I, you, you know, for a fucking fact, they pocket a lot of the money for their project. We well, got to pay yourself first; it's part of the budget. That's a thing that all indie directors, everybody does. You pay, you got to pay yourself. I mean, where do I? What's the point? What about my salary? What about my salary? I get paid first, and then you start hiring. You know, the guy that uh, Happy Gilmore hires to be his caddy midway through the movie. <laughs> 
to be your AD and every, all of a sudden the movie just becomes like a bunch of homeless people working on it <laughs> and you keep giving yourself 30 grand a month. <laughs> I've seen it. Um, <laughs> here we it go. It is possible to make a no budget feature film become successful. I did it for six grand. It got millions of views online. So now it's two years after I made that movie. I'm graduating college and it's time to make my second no budget feature film. This time I'm going to raise why? 12 grand through... Why are you why are you more interested in the quality of the video talking about how your movie sucked <laughs> versus your movie? Why don't you just get a budget and make a real movie? You if you actually thought you were a filmmaker, you think Martin Scorsese uh you know would have made a vlog about Mean Street's failures? <laughs> <laughs> you think he would have made a vlog about how Italian American just really, it was a failure. He goes, hi, I'm Martin Scorsese, and Taxi Driver got ignored at the box office. And then he goes, he goes hey there. He goes, what's up, YouTube? I'm Martin Scorsese. Here's a <laughs> I'm making a video today about how about how my first movie, Italian American, was a failure. And then they play, like, music. Do -do 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 do 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 uh, you know what you are. You're lying to everybody. You're exploiting the people. You're exploiting the people, my friend. You didn't make you 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 didn't make your movie. You had no faith in your movie. Didn't didn't for a second think his movie would be good. He knew it. Mm -hmm. And he's just applying like shit he learned in film school. Is like, well, it's going to be this genre. It's going to look like this, this aesthetic. But it's like, what about the fucking story? Yeah, don't. You Why don't, are you doing this? You don't need to sell me on it. It should be good. Yeah. Make it, and then it, it, the movie should sell you. Yeah. Anyway, Kickstarter, and I have twice the. This is crazy. This type of shit really <laughs> pisses me off. No, I'm not kidding. This <laughs> this shit has pissed me off my whole life because this is insane. <laughs> this is the highest level of panhandling that that exists. Mm. In I mean, this is crazy. These guys that like once these websites open up, GoFundMe, uh, whatever, all of Kickstarter. Mm -hmm. The amount of absolute meaningless horseshit that got made and they set up a fake screening of it at some local coffee shop and all the guys, you know, all his fake friends show up to watch it and and it feels like you did something and the amount of money lost. Mm -hmm. The amount of time lost. It's a you know when I see bad shows on TV, when I see an awful hunk of <laughs> shit show, when I see a hunk of shit, just a steaming, like you could smell it through the screen, it stinks. Every show, every Netflix movie, it might, you can smell it. These shows should come with uh, uh, doggy bags. You know how much work got put into it? <laughs> Do you know how many people woke up at 4 a.m.? How many mortgages were paid? Do you understand how many guys that wear saggy Levi's <laughs> and, and, and Carhartt and Carhartt jackets smothered in paint stains <laughs> held, held mics over... Over young, young uh, uh, kids that were about to be victims of, they're about to be victims of pedophilia. <laughs> How many <laughs> held boom mics over victims of pedophilia <laughs> as they read lines for a terrible product <laughs> that was filmed in HD and then thrown on Netflix and we all just go, I'm high. Oh, watch that. Oh, watch that. <laughs> Just people with oxygen Very tanks good. at home. <laughs> <laughs> vapes are gonna go away. Nicotine's gonna be gone. It's gonna be uh, you're gonna be getting a oxygen vape. You're gonna be <laughs> going down to the smoke shop and getting your daily, your nightly dose of oxygen so you could watch whatever the fuck is on Hulu or on Netflix. <laughs> that and then there's a re there's like a whole crew. There's a whole fucking amazing, insane crew, and they're all so much smarter and, and cooler than everyone in the movie. You have no idea how much smarter and cooler they are than everyone in the movie. And they all hold shit. They hold shit for a living. They paint shit that is in back of the retards that are in the thing that get famous. 
and all these cool people with paint stains on their shirts and they smoke American spirits and they, they just hold these boom mics and they wake up at 3 a.m. and they lug shit out of a truck all day. They lug it like it's fucking, like it's fucking out of the furnace, like it's a, fu- like they're steel workers. They lug all this crap. And it goes for two months, and the director comes out occasionally, and he screams at people, and he, <laughs> he abuses people, and, and he makes people feel the uh, stress that they've never felt in their life. They, you can't even fathom the stress that they're feeling. You, they, they don't even know. They, they, they actually, they actually consider suicide. <laughs> they consider suicide throughout this, and it's they're on a two month contract. They know it's up, but they, but they're under this gun of Hollywood, and, and that's. Wow. This is going to be on my resume, and I can't let them know that I failed, that I fucked up this production for a second or whatever. And it keeps going, and 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 so they finally get through the thing, and you know they've lost, they've lost friendships, they've lost family. <laughs> by the end of this, two, this is a two month period. By the way, this is two months out of a twelve month year. And then in three months, in three months, what they worked on co- comes out. And they go to the screening, and there's wine, and 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 dr- and other there's drinks and cr- charcuterie, uh, charcuterie, and there's there's you know maybe it's maybe the show or the thing they worked on it has a theme, so it's like all soul food or it's all whatever. <laughs> and they go, all these working working people come, and they watch all the people that got to play pretend in it. They got to they got to they got to prance around on screen. They get to watch all those people watch their watch what they created. And it's worthless. <laughs> it's utterly worthless. There's not a single thing to take from it. There's not anything to gain. It will never be remembered. It won't stand the test. There's there are there's oak trees. There's sequoia trees that have more worth and history. And, and there's plants. There's plants on Earth that have more value. There's there you step on grass that has more character. <laughs> you you literally you step on bugs when you go to the park that have more th- just uh, more value than <laughs> what they set up at Viacom and everyone watches a show and it's all fake. <laughs> and the only people that like it, you get this, the only people that like the show, they fucking worked on it. <laughs> <laughs> and then all the people that worked on the show tell you that it's getting rave reviews. <laughs> and you go, where were these reviews from? And they go, well, so-and-so liked it. And you go, wasn't he the director? <laughs> 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 and that, ladies and gentlemen, is Hollywood. <laughs> that is what I've seen my short time in this movie. and <laughs> that's, that's what's happening behind the scenes people go to the movie theaters you and don't like, see it they don't know how you don't know this it was fun for you you had popcorn blah 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 but it left your existence it yeah. evap- the, 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 the movie the whatever you watch it evaporated from your existence it's very rare that anything like hits you you know in your gut and it stays with you you uh, th- how about this a thing is all anything a TV show a movie is only good if you wake up the next day and you're thinking about it mm-hmm. if it I, if it left it, your existence it's been so long since one done. of those has happened and that did you re- see the the new David O Russell movie Amsterdam no it's a piece of shit <laughs> and it's go. a David O Russell movie very talented filmmaker it's like that's like a guy yeah. that you wait for like oh yeah. thank God he's got a movie coming out because there have there there have not been good movies that's what they do nowadays. And then they just upload it. They just upload. They're making. They're making. They're making hundred million dollar YouTube uploads now. (laughs) You realize that? You're every time you're on Netflix, you could talk. You and when you bring up a movie to me, you bring up some new movie. It's a guy on a MacBook yeah. uploading a three hundred million dollar movie <laughs> to Netflix. That sucks. Netflix is just like YouTube with the Ralph Lauren polo guy on it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm pretty convinced that yeah. uh, David O. Russell could make a an Oscar winning Best Picture movie every single year if he wanted to, but he just likes making shitty movies. And he's doing like when he made The Fighter, it felt like it was out of disdain. Mm-hmm. It felt like okay, all right. You guys want me to make a masterpiece? Like, all right, here you go. Let me shit this out so I can make Amsterdam. Right. Or what was that Mark Wahlberg movie where he's a firefighter? 
What? David or Russell made a Mark Wahlberg firefighter movie? Lily Thompson flipped out on him. Oh, uh, I Heart Huckabee. Yes. That's, that was actually... A, it was fine. I, I didn't mean, like it, but it got a lot of attention. No, People I know. But so, so Amsterdam's sort of a similar thing. Okay. No, but here's the difference. When your movie is going to just drop out of nowhere on an app... Yeah, there's no there's no excitement behind it. No. Yeah. D- uh, uh, let's let's think about the only movies that ever went straight to app that Manchester by the felt sea. like real movies. Only it's thing I can think. No, of. No, 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 it didn't go straight no, 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 to no. app. Yeah, it is. No, it didn't. Amazon Prime. No, but okay, it was oh, no, made no. by Amazon. Hold on, hold on. We have to make a uh, maybe like a one uh, uh, limited theaters. You or have something. to add a qualifier to this discussion. You have to go. They're not straight to app. Um, but they're in theaters for like a week, but yeah. then most people are watching them at home. Mm-hmm. So let's go through it. You got Manchester by the Sea. You got The Irishman. You got Marriage the Story. The Irishman was the, like the big one. Marriage Story, Irishman, Manchester by the Sea are like kind of the only ones that I remember that like were in theaters for like a little bit and people kind of saw them if you care about f- mm-hmm. uh, filmmaking. But for the most part, everyone watched them at home. Yeah. And those are actually good movies. Manchester by the Sea is my favorite one. And yeah. then Irishman. Mm-hmm. Um, but, and then long but, distance, Mary. Go ahead. But all I'm saying is that <laughs> there is a number of. Like, of I'm not kidding. Anyway, but here's the thing, Joey. There's a number of movies like that, directed by fucking legendary directors, that for the last fucking four and a half, five years, y- we are hanging out at your place. We are blasted, yeah. And we put on HBO Max, and we just go, "What the? F-? We go, we go. Ridley Scott's got a new movie out." <laughs> They just mm. snuck it under you because mm-hmm. it sucks. And then you have to wonder what the, how the fuck do you get these great directors to make bad shit out of like so suddenly? And it's because they all know it's going straight to the app, baby. They don't care. They don't care. It's yeah. going straight to the app. You make whatever you want. You send it to, to the studio and they just They're trying to get paid. They upload it. They upload it. It's like who gives a fuck? I'm not going to be embarrassed. I'm though, surprised. But nobody's going to see it. It's like. If I can get away with this, if Netflix will give me a hundred million dollars, like why wouldn't I do this? When these movies end, I'm literally surprised the director doesn't come on screen and be like, "If you guys want more, check out <laughs> my channel at the top of the screen." Like it literally feels that way. If you like this, check out the wrestler. <laughs> Darren Aronofsky comes on screen after the whale is uploaded to fucking Netflix next week, yeah. and he's like, "If you like this movie, check out the wrestler and check out my wife's cooking channel." <laughs> it's just we we're killing art we're killing we're rapidly rapidly crushing art like a bug mm-hmm. it's becoming nothing that's why people consider uh, somehow this not this they consider podcasting art lemon party this all any podcast you like it's art you're listening to a conversation mm-hmm. it's not art you're just listening to a conversation between people that are maybe like a little funnier and cooler than you or something whatever but that's still not art and we're and that's how bad it's yeah. gotten that we're accepting. This is entertainment. We're accepting talking. Yeah. Vaguely as, entertaining, as a, possibly. Vaguely entertaining. It gets people through the day. Don't make people feel bad about being entertained by it. I get you know. No, no, if sure. I, entertained I, by it. All I go do ahead, all day. I'm, I'm, I'm just I watch trying. the FBI files for six hours a day. <laughs> it's vaguely entertaining. It's like that's what mm-hmm. I love it. It's my favorite show. Think about how much time we pass with Amagansett. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Let's let's continue let's, let's with this guy. Let's give him a little sec. I didn't realize I I, I didn't even. We'll let continue this with him on talk. the on the. Instagram. We've made it. No, let's 30 continue seconds. with him on the Patreon. You want to? We're going to do more on this uh, on this indie filmmaker on the Patreon. Yeah. Didn't realize his uh, face was up there. Maybe, maybe I am. I'm pretty I'm pretty bad at running this podcast. <laughs> What's wrong with his face being up? I don't know. I've I, had, li- I like seeing his face there. I've while had you people were... complain before. They're like, "You left the image up for that long. You fucking. Ass. I, I'm gonna kill you." Pull, 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 it, pull it up again. Pull it up real quick. I like when he, you were ranting the whole time. I kept looking at his face, doing that stupid this, face. This it was funny. Rep- he represents. The uploader. Can you imagine that guy being told, like, like getting the getting the Irishman gets sent to him, and he's like, "Okay, I'll, I'll let me upload it." <laughs> you guys get what I'm saying, yeah, though, I mean, right? I feel, like, I feel like I made a little sense there. I don't know. I kind of get a great. No, that, that was, was a, a great. That was a great rant. Let's not. You had a bunch of good stuff. Let's let it sit. That was something. I thought cool it was fantastic. That, it's not cool to like. Talk about thank yourself. God it's gonna come out on a brand new channel. With no viewers. <laughs> <laughs> That's exciting. Maybe if you mention it on Lemon Party, people will come over. Yeah, I'll mention the new channel. Post Party. it on the TikTok. <laughs> I'm permanently banned, Joey. Oh, Thanks oh, for yeah, rubbing it sorry, in. Sorry, sorry, sorry. 
We actually uh, have... Uh, whatever. Anyway. Yeah, fuck it. We're going to the Patreon now. We're going to head over to the Patreon. And I also saw some... I saw some, like, one comment out there one time where the guy was like, I've seen... Th- you know, a lot of these guys, these podcasters, they do, like, they're, like, mailing it in on the regular <laughs> and they say, go over to the Patreon. It's like... We but try I, hard on Patreon. I did the whole episode. They're the exact... And then I'm just telling you to go to the Patreon. They're what? the exact same What do you thing? want from me? We try really hard on the what Patreon. What do you want from me? Okay, my car... You know the noises my car makes? <laughs> <laughs> do you have any idea the noises that my car makes? For a long time, his front passenger door didn't open. He was I getting out of the passenger jumped door. out of the side of my car. <laughs> It was like uh, Dumb and Dumber. And I had a, I had a testicle issue. I have a testicle issue because of how much I strain at my manual labor job. Yeah. Because it's- I have to reach over. I had to reach over these things and cut weed, and, and the tables weren't long enough. And Yeah. Devin's essentially a migrant worker. A migrant worker. I'm trying to break out of it right now. Thank God for Lemon Party. <laughs> All hail Ben Avery. All hail Ben. He's he's literally he's like beautiful a, Ben. He's uh, Ben is maybe the most beautiful person I've ever met. He's a beautiful man. <laughs> I know. I know. Honestly, no, I'm, I'm including you guys. You, you're out. Oh, jeez. <laughs> no, truly, Ben Earth. is Ben is next level beautiful human being. Um. Wow. I think that too, but I like him, Ben more than you. And same. Tim Dillon is my best friend. Same. So you like Tim Dillon the most. Tim Dillon is my number one number best one, friend. Then Ben. Ben. And then Chase. <laughs> <It's> all- <laughs> I feel like you, uh, you go where the m- I feel like you just kind of go where the money is. And then Katie. <laughs> <laughs> Let's wrap it up there. Uh, join us on the Patreon, patreon.com slash hate watch podcast. It's hate watch podcast, right? I don't sure. fucking know. What hey, watch. It? I literally. Pod. This is this is how much we care about the product and not and not getting paid. But it's so punk rock. It's punk rock, Joey. Dude, it's it's punk rock. <laughs> it's really punk rock to not even like tell people the proper punk place to rock. support you. I'm quitting the show. Patreon.com slash hate watch podcast. Check us you out. Idiot. <laughs> We're gonna keep doing this. Obviously, I'm never gonna stop. But make it worth our while and and. Uh, <laughs> Uh, support the new channel. It would really be nice if we had made the new channel while announcing this. But um, it'll. How else are we going to release this episode? It doesn't really matter. Well, yeah, it, this what? <laughs> what? What do you mean? Like it comes out in a no, day. No, I know, but we could we'll have told it. people. You're acting like people are listening pre-em- now. Oh, you're right. <laughs> hey, you know, sometimes the brain of mine is like, yeah, I'm Italian. What do you want? <laughs> um. Anyway. Patreon.com slash Hate Watch Podcast. Uh, Just end it, you fucking Dago. Thank you all for uh, helping us through this tough time. Thank you for all the nice comments. Uh, we're always going to try and be funny for you. And uh, God bless you. And, you sound uh, like you're like a captain on an airplane of you funny know, now. And, uh, <laughs> you're like, yeah. oh, we'll always try to be funny for you. Thanks for flying uh, United. And uh, right, we'll see you on the Patreon. John is monkey box. Yeah, John's gay.